Okay, so I guess we will be starting. Uh, we had actually more than 100 registrations, so uh, I assume people will continue joining. And for those who uh, are not able to join, they will receive an edited recording, which will contain only beautiful parts <laughs> of this conversation, just the content they need. So um, let's start. I will introduce myself and then I will tell how we will uh, get it going. So my name is Daniel Chernov. Uh, I will be moderating this uh, webinar. Um, I'm here uh, because we are connected to Valeria from Futspa Club. Uh, thanks to her and her team for organizing this event. And uh, I'm leading the community uh, called uh, the Reboot Startup Nation, or in Russian language circles, it's called Startup Nation and 12 Czechs. And we also shared uh, the invitation to this webinar to our a new Spanish speaking uh, community of uh, Tecolim, uh, the reboot in Spanish. Uh, probably also other people joined it but from the word of mouth. Um, so, yeah, thanks again to Valeria and her team for organizing this. And today we have uh, representatives of uh, Tel Aviv University and in particular the international branch of it called the LOWI International School, if I pronounced it correctly, yeah. with a W in the middle. Yes. Okay, so uh, how, we will be, uh, how we will do this? So first, uh, our main speakers, uh, Lena and David, will introduce themselves and tell uh, uh, the information about the education and the university in English and uh, everything that is like fundamental and uh, most important. Then we will have two students who are currently studying in this university who will share their uh, experience and uh, what they think is uh, important for people to know. And then we will have a Q&A session. Uh, so uh, at first we will answer some of the most frequently asked questions in the forum because in the registration forum we had the question for our speakers. And then we will go to like live questions. So you will be able to either text it in the chat or maybe just raise your hand and uh, uh, say it out loud. So this is how we'll be, we will be doing this. And uh, this is meant to be like a conversation. So please uh, be active, ask your questions uh, and so on. This is exactly why we're doing this uh, webinar. Uh, so now I want to introduce uh, David Ryan, who is the Global Outreach and Recruitment Coordinator uh, in Tel Aviv University in Lowy International School, and Lena Bleman, who is Global Recruitment Leader. Uh, so they will uh, share what we need to know about uh, studying in English in Israel. I personally didn't uh, study in Israel, and uh, I got my degree before Aliyah. So for me, I'm sure I will also will learn a lot of important information. So yeah, please. Well, oh, thank you, Danny. So good evening, everyone. Hi. Um, my name is David. I'm from the Lowy International School here at Tel Aviv University. And we're the international school for all of the English top programs here at TAU. We have 60 plus programs in total. I'm going to give you a very quick overview about TAU um, and also information about all of the programs. Um, zoom in on a couple of programs specifically. Then I'll hand over to Lena, who'll chat a little bit about her program, the Sofia Global MBA program. In addition to that, I'm also delighted that we have two Orlean students here with us today. Uh, we have Dasha, um, who's studying the um, new BA in Management and Liberal Arts. And then we have Maya, who's actually uh, an MSc in uh, Medical Sciences um, here at TAU. So let me begin just by playing a very, very quick video. It's only about two minutes long. If I can just, uh, Danny, if you can give me um, the ability to share my screen, please. Just make me co-host, that's cool. Yes, yes, yes. I believe Valeria will do it now. Okay. Great, thank you. Tel Aviv University International, the only place in the world where you can study Taoism. What is Taoism? 
Well, it's a local philosophy that says the best way to study is through experience. Understand with your head, learn with your feet. The best way to study a multicultural society is to live in one. Be ready with your elevator pitch. You never know who you'll meet on campus. If you want to learn the best marketing strategies, just go to the local market. Reading about the startup nation? Write your own chapter. Study literature in the place that inspired the bestseller of all time. You can't resolve a conflict until you witness one. At TAU, there is always room for more questions and 400 labs to find the answers. Come experience the wisdom of Taoism at Tel Aviv University International, where first-class education meets a second to none lifestyle. So yeah, I don't know if you've noticed, but that actual that was filmed last summer when our name was Tel Aviv University International. In December of November of last year, we went through um um we have a new name. We're now the Lowy International School after a major donation by Sir Frank Lowy. So just in case you noticed. Um, so um, I wondered whether or not to play that video to you because most of you, I believe, are Eileen that are currently living here in Israel. But I decided to play it because I think that just encapsulates our philosophy here um, at the university, which is, you know, that you study best through experience. You learn with your head, you understand with your feet and learning happens everywhere and sometimes when you least expect it. So when you come to TAU, you don't just learn in a classroom, you learn in a campus, in a city, in a country. All of these things will transform you. So we call that Taoism, learning through experience. Um, just zoom out a little bit and tell you a bit about Tel Aviv University. So we're Israel's biggest and most comprehensive institution of higher education. You know, we have 30,000 total students here, um, 2,000 plus are international, and they come from all over the world, from 100 plus countries. We have um, 125 schools and departments across nine faculties. Um, on one campus, 220 acres of green space just north of downtown Tel Aviv. You know, we truly are a multidisciplinary institution of, of academic excellence. And you heard in the video that, you know, we have 400 labs here to, to help you find the answers. So I won't go into all of them. But obviously, we're very proud of our ranking as Israel's largest and most comprehensive institution of higher education. Innovation is very much part and parcel of our DNA. You can see there some of these rankings top 100 innovation university, ranked fifth for entrepreneurship, ranked 10th for top 10 schools producing VC-backed founders. We're the only non-US institution to make that top 10 list. We're also ranked eighth for graduates establishing unicorn companies worth a billion dollars. Um, and again, we're the only non-US institution to make that top 10 list. Um, and just a couple of weeks ago, the actual Collar School of Management was voted one of the top 100 business schools in the world. So, you know, without being too, you know, too boastful, we're very, very proud. We're a big institution here, and that shows in our rankings. Um, and again, you know, nine faculties, um, and that in itself creates wonderful and unique connections between disciplines that are not traditionally connected to each other. And that alone provides infinite possibilities for academic creativity and interdisciplinary world-class faculty, renowned professors, students from 100 plus countries. Um, I will, I'll just skip this slide. Obviously, this is what I do when I present to people, students abroad. Uh, but you all live here in Tel Aviv. Just a snapshot here of some key alumni that are making an impact in their fields. Our alumni is 200,000 strong with 15,000 international alumni. 
So you'll see lots of people here in business and in high tech, innovation, entrepreneurship. It's very much part and parcel of our DNA. I just want to briefly mention as well that we have our Madrachim team, which is the Hebrew word for guide or counsellor. And they're also there to make sure, you know, to give you the support that you need. So, you know, to give you a nice soft landing. They live in the dorms with you. They organise activities on campus and um, all over Israel. You'll get to meet other students from them as well. They are your go-to people for any issues or support that you need. And this level of community extends through into the dorms as well. So I know all of you are living here, but if you are interested to come to live in our dorms, you have on-campus dorms as well. Uh, and you can see they're very nice, some of them. Okay, so just um, drilling down into a bit into the Lowy International School. So we're here to support all of the English international top programs here on campus. There's 60 programs in total. There's GAP program for high school graduates, undergraduate degrees, study abroad, uh, short-term programs, um, graduate programs, all the way up to um, PhD and postdocs. And I'm just going to skip over this because it's a bit less relevant. So I know, I think most of you do, I think about the majority of you do have an undergraduate degree, but for those of you that don't, we have four full undergraduate degrees. Um, they're all three years apart from the dual degree with Columbia, which is a four year program. So two years here at TEU and the final two years at Columbia um, in New York. There's the BA in liberal arts and then there's a new for 2022, the management in liberal arts program that Dasha studies on. There's also a Buchmann Meta School of Music. So if any of you are amazing, accomplished musicians, this is a great program because it's also a tuition free program because you actually get the opportunity to perform with the Israeli Philharmonica Orchestra. So just jumping in now to our grad programs, we have 19 graduate programs across the faculties. Um, you'll see some listed here, Ancient Israel Studies, which is archaeology, the social sciences programs like conflict resolution and mediation, uh, migration studies, security and diplomacy, sustainable development, and some of them also offer the option to transfer to Johns Hopkins in Italy for another year to do a cooperative degree. There's also an MA in cyber politics and government that I want to play a video in a, in a second. There's also a new program for this year we just launched, which is the social and policy aspects of climate change. There's environmental studies, tests, so, so lots of options across different faculties. These are all MAs. In addition to that, you also have options to come and do research with us. There's MSCs available in engineering, life science, medical sciences that Maya will talk a bit more about. There's also neurosciences, plant sciences. There's a grad program in law. There's the wonderful Sophia Global MBA that Lena will talk about. There's also an online MBA option, documentary cinema, that's a master of fine art. There's a master in disaster management and also the music program that I mentioned at undergrad is also at grad level as well. Now you'll see the ones with the asterisks next to it are we call that subsidized program tuition. What that means is that the, the, the tuition for international students for these programs are the same as um, Israeli students. So if you've made Aliyah, you can potentially study these programs as part of your um, Sal Klita, part of your um, Aliyah benefits as well. So the, the tuition of those ones is capped. Now, in addition, you can come and do, you know, PhD with us as well. As you heard in the video, there's 400 labs, 125 research institutions. So lots of options here to come and do research. We have a research office on campus. We also have a research coordinator here at the Lowy International School. So if you are interested in doing a PhD in research, then do reach out to us and we'll be able to point you in the right direction of um, where you need to go. So I'm just going to, um, that's it. I didn't want to go into too much detail just because I know we've got a lot to get through. Um, I do want to play just another quick video on the cyber program. Um, let me just play it. Then I'll hand over to Lena. So the program in cyber politics and government is a couple of years old now. Um, and the program head, here he is Professor Eviatar Matanya, and he was actually um, assigned by Benjamin Netanyahu to 
um, create Israel's first um, cybersecurity center. I'm Professor Vital Matanya. In 2018, I was nominated as a full professor here in Tel Aviv University. And one of the most important things that they did is to establish the new, very unique program, the Cyber Politics and Government MA program. What is um, unique in the program is that the uh, teachers and the students learn together. And it is a very important in our program because we study new issues where we find only very few uh, articles, papers and books about. It uh, combines Israeli students with international ones. It's a hybrid program and the cetogenic class is very interesting for all the students. Second, uh, we bring uh, not just uh, theorists but also people with hands, you know, hands on the job. Uh, the, the top executives in Israel in the area of cyber and technology in Israel is known to be one of the leaders in these fields. And Tel Aviv University is one of the hubs of, uh, that uh, created and established the policies and the strategies of how Israel became, built its ecosystems of cyber, how Israel uh, succeeded to build the National Cyber Directorate, how the government approached the whole issue. Tel Aviv University and its professor were the heart and the core of the, uh, of the thoughts about this and the ideas. And this is the right place to learn about cyber technology and policies. Wonderful. Um, so I think I hope that's given you a sort of broad idea of the Lorraine International School and more information about Tel Aviv University um, and the options here to, to study in English. You know, 60 plus programs, 2000 students here from all over the world. So there's lots of options. OK, I could talk, I could continue and talk more about our programs, our student life team, but I'm conscious that um, I'm not the only one presenting today. <laughs> So I'll pass over to Lena. Lena, do you want me to um, I'll make yeah, you the... Yes, I just wanted to say yeah, again, like thank you, Daniel and Valeria for organizing these things. I think it's very important that there is an opportunity for us to see the people that have recently came to Israel and uh, show them what options are here in Tel Aviv University. Because like personally myself, I came more than four years ago and it was kind of like still difficult to study in Hebrew. So just for you to know that there are many programs in uh, English, David uh, told us about some of them. And definitely there was a question if the slides will be shared. I believe like this recording will be sent to all the mm -hmm. participants, right? Yeah. So yeah, I will ask the like, uh, So my name is Lena Blinman. I am recruiting for the Software Global MBA. I know that uh, uh, before this webinar, Daniel sent us some statistics. So there are a uh, certain number of students that might be interested in studying business here. So I will just like briefly speak about the program and then in the QA session, I will be happy to speak in more details. And I'll ask David now to show again the video. We love videos. The video. Yeah. Yeah. With I'll the head it. of the program of Software Global MBA, please, David. No problem. My name is Jackie Goran and I'm the head of the Software Global MBA program. The main areas that I'm interested in are management consulting and impact investment. So what do I like about the program? So first of all, I like the students. I think we have an amazing group of students coming from all over the world. It's a very intimate program, 35 to 40 students that we pick, you know, each one of them. I also like the fact that the program is a hands-on program, so it's not just about, you know, sitting in class and learning stuff, but we also have a lot of projects, uh, reaching out, and being entrepreneurial. It's mainly about becoming an entrepreneur during this year that they spend here with us. So what do I want students to take away? First of all, I think friendship, love to Israel. Uh, I also want them to become business people that are not just thinking about maximizing profits, but also thinking about our planet and social issues that are around us. And when they're becoming entrepreneurs, uh, to think and look at these problems as the main issues that they want to solve, but not necessarily 
you know, how to become just unicorn and make a lot of money. So students that are applying, first of all, you know, it's a very short program. Within a year you're getting your MBA, which is, I don't think there's anywhere else in the world that you can do that, which means very intense, hard work. Uh, so be prepared, you know, to work hard. Uh, and we encourage you, go out of your comfort zone. I think that this is the main uh, experience that you will have here, and I think it's an amazing experience. Thank you, David. Yes, yeah, so that was, uh, I think, a uh, very, very brief, but very, very precise uh, introduction to our company. So, our uh, company, <laughs> our program, <laughs> you see, it's already like business oriented. Uh, so now I think I will share with you some slides. So just for you to be able to see the things, not just to listen to, to me. I think I will also need, I'm the host now. Okay, okay. Yeah, so... Yeah, so here we are, uh, just in brief, again, so this is Software Global MBA. This is the program within the Polar School of Management within the Tel Aviv University, of course, part of the Lovey International School. Uh, I think the great advantage of this program is that it's only one year. It's very, very intensive, but we will let you go in a year uh, with a full completed MBA degree. Um, as you might know, there are like thousands and thousands of programs all over the world, and the ones that are international credit have uh, the certain number of mandatory courses. We also have those kind of fundamentals, but what is different about us is that we have those, uh, like, I think about 20 electives that you can choose from, and it can be almost tailor-made, so you can actually work on your schedule, see what is relevant for you, what is not that relevant to you. And of course, we have a guide, uh, a class leader who will help you to choose the right courses that will be uh, relevant for you in your future career or your future development. Again, as Jackie mentioned, we'll have 50 students max. Uh, usually it will be like 35, 40. So we figured out that it's a perfect number to have enough network all over the world or to be introduced to the Israeli ecosystem. But at the same time, it's not a huge amount. So we know each of our students uh, by name, by CV, by their expectations, their ambitions, and trying to support them, each of our team, mem team members, the best way. What is also amazing uh, about the program, uh, as I guess uh, the other programs in the Lorry International School, is that it's completely diverse and international. So this year we have 17 countries within the program. Last year we had 22. And it's like from the Japan to West Coast, uh, to Argentina, uh, Aruba. So very, very uh, interesting uh, number of countries. And just this last week, I had an interview with a student from uh, ex Swaziland. So hopefully we'll have more and more representatives um, from the whole world. And of course, for us, Alim, that are coming here, they bring in the part of their international culture. So of course we consider them Israelis, but what is important for us that you will bring this um, international spirit and you show the rest of the students like how it is uh, in your countries of origin and what kind of network you can bring and what kind of uh, uh, knowledge you can share because we know that despite of being the startup scale up nation, um, I think that the people that are coming now to Israel really have to offer a lot. The average age, 27, 29, uh, we're becoming like higher and higher, but still we do have some amazing students who have just got their bachelor degree, but already have some experience who might have their companies. I think it's not very difficult, especially in the IT world that, um, for example, 22 years old and you already have like four years of work experience and that's what will matter for us. Um, not what is how you can prove officially, but actually the things that you have been through, the problems that you have faced, and of course, uh, what we always uh, emphasize that uh, MBA, you learn from yourselves. You learn from your classmates a lot. And that's why it's important for us that you would speak this language, that you will understand each other. And of course, like using all the professors and mentors. What else we offer, I think especially it's important for integration to the Israeli business ecosystem. It's an elective, like it's not mandatory, but we have 120 hours of internship. So we have a special career center within the 
School of Management that will know you from the moment you are confirmed. So they will have your CE, CV, your LinkedIn profile, and they will uh, be helping you to improve it, first of all. And then, of course, uh, look through our database and offer you different options where you can uh, get this internship. And of course, for you, it's an opportunity on the one hand to try something new or to try what you think is interesting for you or what is comfortable for you and see within this like month or two, three, I guess it's like the most like comfortable three months, if it's working for you, if it's not, if you would love to be like within the uh, Israeli startup or you want to be in the corporate uh, big company so you really can choose and try and also, I know you just came here, you're already abroad as the rest of our cohorts, but we still offer a semester abroad program. It means that uh, if you want, again, we are not pushing. If you want, you can choose an option to go to one of our partner schools from all over the world. The only exception, you cannot go to your country of origin. Uh, not too many people are sad about it. So that's also an option. Um, what else? I can say, uh, David mentioned uh, all those like ranking positions, they, uh, a big amount of it belongs to the College School of Management, so I won't repeat this, but I think what is important for the students that we are a ACSB accredited, uh, there are only two programs in Israel that have this kind of, uh, two universities that have this kind of um, accreditation, so it means that it's uh, quality guaranteed by this uh, um, organization that we have uh, uh, professors, we have facilities, that we have network, that we have uh, opportunities for you. The rankings we discussed, so I'm also trying to be fast, maybe not fast as David, but I'm doing my best. So also why people are coming to, for MBA, actually it's like uh, definitely some skills, some knowledge, but mostly for network. I think also David mentioned that we have two major conferences happening on campus, uh, artificial intelligence that we had just a week ago and the cyber week that usually happens uh, in June. And we have like more than 5,000 people coming from all over the world to the probably motherland of cybersecurity, or at least like the country that really is able to use this in the international area, our like cybersecurity software. So this is like everybody is welcome. And uh, we have our own venture fund, Tau Ventures. Again, if there are questions, I will stop on this maybe and focus on this later. We have Ignite competition where people really can uh, present their ideas and get $100,000 for their startup. Of course, there are only like three prizes like this, a lot of participants, but there is a chance. And what we're very proud of, our alumni. So you will have uh, an access to this network which is also convenient both in Israel and outside of Israel. Our extracurricular events, very fast. Uh, studying is not just about being in the classroom. Actually, we really make our students go out as much as possible, talk to people, uh, meet different interesting, uh, I don't know, like mentors sometimes, uh, participate in the conferences, uh, you have like in the left, like one of our students won uh, the hackathon. So. You just go there and of course like send surfing uh, that we have at least once a year. So definitely something to enjoy while you're in Israel. Uh, so we are looking, you can see it here for really open-minded for people who are brave enough, uh, who creative, who are really hardworking because the program is very, very difficult. It's intensive, as I mentioned, it's only one year. And as Jackie said, we are impact oriented. So we do care. And I think it's important not should just to uh, make a lot of money, which is also important, but uh, probably not the priority. So that's in brief who we are. I think the requirements, maybe we can discuss later when we have the QA session. So not to waste time on this, I'm sure you're really willing to hear our students. So I think I'll stop sharing and, um, and then, yeah, we'll be happy to answer your questions at the QA session. Thank you. Great, uh, thank you, Lena and uh, David. And now we're passing the mic to Maya and Daria, who will be sharing about their experience in the university, I believe. And uh, also, maybe you guys will be will have questions for the students. So, stay in touch. So I guess I can start. <laughs> and hi, everybody. It's super nice to meet you. My name is Maya. I'm 21, and I'm doing my master degree in medical science in the area of clinical immunology. Basically, I study constant. 
I'm going to tell a bit about my background. I'm a medical student in my home country. I finished the preclinical part of my education and I started my clinical part uh, in Ukraine and here I'm doing my master degree. Um, I guess Israel to begin uh, with is one of the best places to deal with science. I guess uh, you couldn't find uh, uh, the conference better than here or the scientists and the labs and all the opportunities which you have here. Um, I'm going to tell you that one of the biggest advantage to do your second degree or PhD is that you're going to have uh, the monthly scholarship because basically it's the full-time job. You work in the lab from, let's say, 9 to 5. And moreover, all of your physicians, uh, at least from the medical faculty, are going to be covered by the faculty and by the lab where you're doing your research. So speaking about the requirements, at least in the medical faculty, they are pretty strict. So you need to have your bachelor diploma. There are some exceptions. Um, also, you need to have a pretty high uh, grade. I guess it's 90 for the medical faculty, for the life science faculty, it's, I guess, a bit lower. You need to check it. Um, and one of them one of the recommendations, one of the advices I'm going to give you, uh, you need to find the lab before you're going to register. Uh, basically, if somebody here would like to do master or PhD in science, uh, you can uh, also ask me because I have some PI, some primary investigators who always look for the new students um, from all, all over the world. So I can share the contact, maybe if you're going to be interested in. Uh, speaking about the opportunities, I guess it's, uh, as I said before, one of the best places to start uh, because uh, all the labs or the majority of the labs are very well equipped. So you're going to have uh, not only the equipment, you're going to have the money to do your research, which is, um, I guess, one of the important things uh, in your field. Um, so that's uh, everything which I wanted to share with you. If there is any specific questions, I'm going to be happy to answer. Thanks. Uh, okay, I can go next. Uh, hi, everyone. My name is Dasha. I'm from Moscow, from Russia. And uh, currently, I'm doing my first year in the new BA program in Management and Liberal Arts. Um, and so far, it's been so great. I have just completed my first semester and have already passed all of my exams. And so I'll start my second semester soon. Um, so the reason why I chose Tel Aviv University in this particular program is because when I um, finished high school, I was not really sure about what I wanted to do uh, ever, like all my life. I've been interested in many fields, uh, both in math and arts and humanities. And so when I looked at the pro new program, I saw that it combined so much. So I could study management, which is so important nowadays, and I could go into entrepreneurship and uh, have this amazing access to um, so many uh, companies and alumni of the university. But I could also study liberal arts, which is like a compilation of different humanities uh, studies. And so like literature, climate change, everything. And uh, this really made me realize how flexible this program is and how uh, much I can achieve and um, learn while studying there. So um, speaking of classes that we have, uh, we have a great variety of classes. So for our program, we have a list of mandatory management classes that are chosen by the university, and they really help us prepare for the second and third years. And also we have, uh, we can choose um, several classes in the liberal arts program. And so you can choose anything you want. You also have a, a personal advisor whom you can contact and have a Zoom conference with and decide what you're gonna need for your future career or for your future interests, which is also super, super helpful. Um, and uh, my class, my cohort is very small. So we are like only 25 people because we're the first cohort, uh, which also uh, was super great because uh, we can literally communicate very personally with our professors and with the university. And for example, we've had some issues with scheduling. And so the um, faculty and the 
our advisors, they really took it into account and they're going to change the program for the future cohort, which is really amazing. And uh, speaking of living in Tel Aviv and living on campus specifically, um, I feel like uh, there is so much support both from them and the him. Uh, because if you have any questions like uh, making a doctor's appointment or um, going somewhere, they can really, really help you help you and explain everything. Also, um, you have all the access to different like library services. You can study anywhere. There are like lots of libraries on campus. Uh, and I've been to, I think, almost all of them. And they're great. They have printers and everything you may need. Uh, and uh, just living in the dormitories is also amazing because you get your own space and uh, you get to connect to your community better and meet different people. And uh, overall, uh, when I was uh, leaving my home country and when I was realizing that I'm actually going studying here, I felt very calm and I never hesitated. And so now when I look back at myself in September, when I just started studying, I realized that I made exactly the right decision because the amount of supports and actually knowledge that you get from here is amazing. And um, everything is so, so clear and it's uh, very cool. Thank you. Thank you so much, Dasha. I just want to mention a couple of things as well. Firstly, thank you so much, Maya and Dasha, for um, coming and sharing your experiences um, with the group here. It's really, really wonderful. Thank you. But also, um, Dasha is actually coming to a, a fair with me, I think, on the 15th of March, the Eileen Fair. Um, there's an Eileen Fair happening, I think, on the 14th or 15th of March, where we'll be there presenting our programs, chatting with students. So I think if you haven't had an invite yet from Menhala Student Team, the Students Authority, uh, you should reach out to them to, to ask for that. And also before we continue, I know we're mainly talking about the international Hebrew and um, English talk programs, but if any of you are wanting to, to study a Hebrew talk program and your Hebrew is not quite good enough, we also do, under the Lowy International School, have the TACA prep program for academic Hebrew, which runs with us from March until July. And that's for people who already have a um, Kita Gimel level of Hebrew, but just to take it up a notch so you can then continue on to do a degree taught in Hebrew. And also, I believe, as Eileen, that's covered by Menhala Studenti. Thanks a lot, uh, Maya and Dasha, and David for the comments. So uh, now uh, let's go for the questions part. So first we will cover five of the most uh, frequently asked questions in the forum. We can do it really, really fast. Uh, mm -hmm. Half of the answers will be actually in links because like it depends on any case, like it's impossible to cover all the programs or all the uh, things you need to know, but you need to know where to find it, okay? So the first question is, um, is it possible to study for free or receive a scholarship? Okay, so I put into um, the chat um, a link to our um, scholarship page where we do list all of the scholarships that we offer. We offer our own scholarship funds. We also, a lot of the programs offer scholarship funds. As Eileen, you can also have scholarship and financial help from Minhala Student Team. So lots of options. Um, but I do recommend you look at our website to, to see there. And also, if um, any of you have not had funding from MASA, MASA are also a great provider of um, financial assistance. And also the MFA, the Israel um, Ministry of Foreign Affairs, they often give a generous scholarship, sometimes up to um, even $8,000 to grad programs and up only to specific countries. But I know that Russia is one of those countries. Okay, Maybe great. I can so, add mm -hmm. a little bit about scholarship that our program also, in addition to what David said, also offers some scholarships. Uh, there can be like early broad application scholarship. We're happy to give the merit based scholarship, which means like if your GPA is like higher than average, we will be happy to consider our students. We have some financial based scholarship, and uh, recently the, the most like uh, the newest one is like Massa Alumnus Scholarship. So, those mm -hmm. of you who already used your Massa scholarship, you can still apply for the one like the post massa and we will be happy to provide you more details about it yeah. great so uh everyone who was interested in scholarships please uh take a look in the link in the chat uh don't lose it okay Se second question 
Uh, I guess like partially it was already answered, but I guess if people want to learn more like about what kind of programs are available yeah. in English. Well, I just put into the, um, the chat a link to our program lobby where all of our programs are listed. So our website is international.tau.ac.il. So all of the English taught international programs are listed there. But in addition, afterwards, um, perhaps, Danielle, I can send to you a couple of links and a brochure that you can send out to everyone with the recording. So they have that in one place. Yeah, it helps. Um... And, and also the MBA program, is it like one program or it's like, it has also directions? How does it work? Uh, for us, like the Software Global MBA, it's like one year intensive program completely in English. So if you even have like zero uh, knowledge of English, because this is like for the international students. They may be even non-Jewish students who come in mm -hmm. here because like this is like very special for this place. And just like, may I use this quick opportunity because I saw that there was a question uh, about uh, the possibility to work part-time. I think it's a very important question and many people asking this. Um, so, um, Mikhail, yeah, uh, yeah, we can speak later also. Um, that um, we highly recommend not to work at least like full-time. It might be maybe 20, 30%. And again, it depends on you. If you require only, I don't know, like four hours of sleep, that's fine. So you can actually spend <laughs> this time on studying. But like for everyone who is, kind of like constrained to the jobs, you're missing a lot. Because like, as I mentioned, we have a lot of extracurricular activities uh, within the program, within the Lovey International School, and you really want to experience this. I know that you have to work, but also the more uh, you are into the program, the more effective it is for you. So, yeah. Thank you. Great. Uh, next question. What are the entrance requirements and prerequisites for admission? It's a huge question because it's like, a lot of details so yeah How long probably. Is a piece of string so i've put into um the chat a link to some of our faqs but basically look if you come to do a grad program typically you'll have to have an undergraduate degree with a specific gpa recommendation letters a resume a couple of personal essays you'll also need to have proof of english proficiency so ilets or toffel um i will add that also here i have a link here um in addition uh, uh, sorry, just about the English, I can say about the life science and the medical faculty, because uh -huh. it was in my case. Um, I've been told that I need to do IELTS TOEFL or Amira Miram. It's the exams which are basically, uh, which you can do in Israel. And I guess personally that they're a bit easier than IELTS and TOEFL because they don't have writing and listening. So I guess it depends on the faculty, but in the medical faculty and life science faculty, you can do them too. And also my faculty gave me one semester. So I already started in September and then still February, I had time to pass it. So okay. it's also one of the biggest advantage. Sorry. Okay, no problem. Thanks, Maya. I think, did you do some research before in English? Um, No, so I was still studying in Ukraine, that's it. Okay, okay. But you would have had to have had English proficiency before you started. Yeah. Okay. Um, so, yeah, I mean, basically, basically, that's it. Some programs ask for higher GPA. Some programs ask for a specific undergrad degree. Like if you want to do the LLM program, the second degree in law, you need to have an undergraduate degree in law. Um, and then a couple of programs have a higher GPA. But generally, that's, you know, you have to have your high school transcript, your undergrad transcript. Uh, your resume, letters of recommendation, a couple of essays. So it's I mean, compared to other institutions in different countries, it's relatively an easy um, and straightforward um, system of application. And all you do is you just create a profile online in our application portal, upload all your documentation there, and the program coordinator will then evaluate it and send your transcripts off to a specific team in the university who evaluate them. Um, and they're used to getting transcripts and certificates from all over the world. So they'll see it. They prefer it in the actual language of the of the country that it's come from. So, and they will evaluate it and work out what your GPA is. So basically, if let's say somebody applies and uh, is uh, like, let's say I'm not sure about a certain field in the form, uh, uh -huh. basically somebody will reach out to me and we will discuss and like somebody will so, explain yeah. me what is missing and so on. 
Yeah, so I mean, what happens is all of our programs have admission teams. Uh, like Lena is also part of the admission team for the for the Safair Global MBA. All of the programs have program coordinators, program directors, program managers, and they manage the entire admissions for their program. So they're the ones that you'll reach out to when you start the application. If you're not sure of something, you need some assistance or guidance. They're the ones to to help you and walk you through that steps. Yeah. Great. Uh, Lena, are there any details that are specific for the MBA program uh, about the entrance requirements? Um, yeah, I think like the general requirements are pretty much the same, like the first degree language proficiency, recommendation letter, essay, stuff like that. The only addition that might we might ask for is GMAT or GRE test. Mm -hmm. So this is like the standardized test for those ones who want to apply for MBA. And still, we have some possibilities uh, to waive this exam, and it will depend on the work experience or the previous education. So there are some specifics, but in general, it's as simple as the rest of the program. And most programs also will involve some interview as well. You'll have to be interviewed, you know, at least by the program coordinator or the program director. Yeah, uh, usually on Zoom. <laughs> yes. Yeah, too. Okay, great. So the next question was about uh, like how can I use my previous degree about the documents and so on so just like you can summarize it again but from what i heard you meant you didn't say that you need to like first kind of confirm your document and uh and so what the shell education <laughs> um what i recommend is you send your original documentation via upload it via the portal and also reach out to whatever program coordinator or direct whatever program you're applying to and have the conversation with them because they're the ones that will then liaise between yourself and the teams on campus that will evaluate your application and your certificates. Yes, and the good news is uh, that if your diploma and transcripts are in Russian or Ukrainian, like you probably will, will not have to translate it. Yeah. So you don't need to send your documents to Jerusalem yeah. to uh, approve it within the Ministry of Education just yet. Upload it to the relevant program. What yeah, about actually, Spanish? I think for most Sorry, languages, so Spanish also. Yeah, most languages. I think they actually prefer the original documents. Yeah, not okay, all languages. But most of them, they do. It makes uh, things easier. Of course. Okay, and the last question from the forums, like the most asked, is: uh, Is uh, are there any age restrictions for studying in English? Um, there's no upper age limit. We have students here from 18 to 80, but you have to be at least 18 to come and study our programs. And there's no upper age limit. Yeah, I have a friend. He's studying uh, like cinema in Tel Aviv University, mm -hmm. a master's in the Hebrew program. But he's saying that like in his group, he has very like high age people who are like interested in cinema, and this is super unusual to like where I was studying. So it's uh, it's it really adds to the experience also. Definitely, amazing. Okay, so now. We have a question from Nick. Actually, we have three questions. So if you can open the chat, I think it will be easier for, rather than from you reading them. I can them. see. So Nick, mm -hmm. does the university have programs like Oilim La Academia? No, is this like a Mechina? No, no, they have like now introduced a special program in Russian for Russian speakers. Oh. Uh, so no, we don't have this program. No, we, not that I know of. I do actually, before we continue, I just want to say that our social sciences faculty just created a page of the international programs written in Russian. I put that into, into the link there. Great. The second question is how many different specialties can I apply for at the same time? Uh, which is, this is what I assume. So I took, I take it, if that's part of that program, Oilim La Academia, um, we don't have such a program, but you know, people can apply to more than one program. It's, it's, it's not an issue. We have some students that do that. You just have to bear in mind if you're applying to different programs, you will likely have to pay an application fee for each application um, program that you apply for. And I think it's very important to be motivated because like this is what the, the mm -hmm. coordinators and director of the programs would like to hear from potential students. I mean, like if the program are more or less related or you can explain why yes. you're applying for several programs, that's fine. But still, like it's better to be more precise. I think at the undergraduate level, because we have the BA in liberal arts and the BA in management in liberal arts, we often have students that will apply to both programs at the same time. And because the programs follow pretty much the same track in liberal arts, that's understandable. But as Lena said, if you're going to be applying for an MBA and 
and life sciences studies. and film studies. Okay, the the connection between them can be okay, maybe not quite so obvious. Uh, the deadline for next academic year, so most of our programs are open. Um, the first deadline actually is the end of March. So if you're looking to get housing, um, housing is only guaranteed for applicants who apply by the end of March. And then after then, it's rolling applications until um, the programs are filled. I would say that the sooner the better because housing tends to go quickly. Also, the scholarships that we offer and the programs offer you know, as time goes on, those funds do get used up more and more. But we do take applications on a rolling basis right up until um, the, the summer, um, if not even into the autumn, the fall as well. Yeah, as for us, like we have, like, as I mentioned, some early bird application scholarships. So for us, like the next deadline is the 2nd of April. After that, you can still apply, but there will be no this scholarship in particular. But as soon like, as the all places are taken, that then we will finish the enrollment process. Okay, so now is the time. Yes, apply. absolutely. Mm -hmm. It's always now is the time. Yes. <laughs> always. Has everyone reached out to Minhal Ha student team, the students' authorities? So you're all in touch with them. You're all aware of. I think part right. of the people are actually only thinking about whether they should be. Uh, like studying in university in Israel because I saw that like 80% of people just arrived to the country this year like less than a year ago okay. uh, better to say which is uh, uh, really recently so what I would have to say that uh, like uh, my play field is like all the Alim who want to work in tech and what uh -huh. I see is that there is a big challenge for people who just moved to Israel to kind of translate not language-wise, but like meaning-wise, their experience uh, that they had before Aliyah to like Israeli mm -hmm. market, to like how to sell your experience to Israeli recruiters and so on. So I am sure that having an Israeli university in your CV will make it so much easier. And also all the connections that you will get in university. This is exactly how like your career is built in Israel. So uh, having connections from the university is uh, amazing. And also the knowledge. Yeah. I think the Arlene Fair on the 15th of March is really something that everyone should be looking into because that is exploring your academic options here, um, you know, post Aliyah or before you've even made Aliyah to, to think, to understand more about what you can do here, um, at, you know, at all the different universities. Is, sure. is there a link? Can I please share the link to this? Um, I will find it. Um, I have it in my folders and I will email it to you. Amazing. Um, Daniel afterwards as well. So we will send it to the participants. But Len has also put a link to the Students Authority, um, which is great. They, they, they have a couple of desks there. They have, you know, English speaking desk, um, Spanish desk, and also a Russian speaking desk as well. Amazing. Yes, uh, send the link to the Russian speaking, and I will send now the one for the Spanish speaking. Yeah. Or maybe it's the same. You can change the language there. Yeah. Yeah, I think so. And also, I'm on week commencing the 19th of March, we're doing our online virtual week here at TAU. So that whole week, all of our programs will have Zoom sessions with the program directors, with current students, with some alums. In addition to that, there'll also be some live streaming of actual classes, including a class from the MBA program and a few other graduate programs also. We'll have a session with current students, ambassadors in secret Tel Aviv. It's not yet finalized, but it'll be finalized within the next couple of days. So I do recommend, I'll send you a link, um, Danielle, once it's finalized, to send out to everyone. So I do recommend to, to register for those. We've also got a session there, um, an overview from all of our programs led by Costa, who's our head of um, Asia engagement, who's actually in India right now traveling. Uh, Costa made Aliyah just last year, so he's doing his session in, in Russian. Um, during that week. Amazing. Looks like, uh, I don't know if this is a marketing department or whose work it is, but it's a lot of effort and it's amazing to have this access to like, access to people inside university and to see the classes and so on. Uh, um, the Nick just emailed about, yeah, of course, I put my email address um, in the chat, Nick, just email me. We can organize a visit to for you on campus. And uh, David had a question about undergraduate programs, but I assume like you can learn in the links provided and in this yes. week uh, where you will be able to 
listen and to speak to the people in the programs. Okay, so I guess in terms of the time, let's take one last question uh, just to finish on time. So if uh, anyone has another question, uh, please send it to us or you can uh, speak it with your voice also. Also, just to say we have short term programs in the summer, you know, you can come for four weeks, six weeks or eight weeks and do things like cyber security, research programs in the humanities, in the sciences, uh, business entrepreneurship. And also we have an English program in the summer for people whose academic English who don't qualify to, to study on our programs can come and do our um, academic English program in the summer that will then automatically, if they pass that, give them, that will be their pass to apply to our programs. Amazing. Mikhail, yes, please, if you can, yeah. Uh, hello, uh, I have a question about uh, possibilities for online learning. Is it possible? So for online, at the moment, we have the online MBA, which is an online only program. There's also a um, short term program in the summer in smart cities that's, that's only online. But at the moment, oh, okay. um, everything else is in person on campus. Okay. Uh, with online and, uh, programs, sorry, so... uh, yeah, uh, just to follow up, the online ABA, is it also like full time or it's, it's less than... pretty, it, It's, um, I'm not sure if it's longer. I think it's up to two years. So no, I think I, it's like from almost like from two to five because like there is a recording yeah. sessions and like it really your pace like you want to watch like and then you watch and then you take the tests. I mean it's not related to us just it's in the same the same faculty, faculty yeah. like this yeah yeah. So for an online program online MBA it is possible to work in parallel. Yeah, I guess. I mean people even don't come here. This like I think specifically for those ones who need MBA certificate probably maybe not like the skills that much and not the network but just like if you know that you need to have an MBA to get promotion then yeah I think it's a good solution amazing Mikhail we had a follow-up question uh, I just uh, want to know which directions do you have in uh, uh, short-term programs is it uh, in which area did you well, ask? At well, least, it's on the website. The I think David yeah. sent the link. Yeah, you can I'll, find I'll, all the problems I'll, there. Yeah, I'll put okay. another link there. So in the summer, you can come and do short-term programs. You know, we also have language programs throughout the year, so you can come and do Hebrew Alpan with us throughout the year. And in the summer, we have short-term programs, four weeks, six weeks, or eight weeks. And there's also a webinar happening tomorrow night, tomorrow afternoon, about the summer programs. Um, but let me put a link here, but there's lots of options. I think the summer program looks like uh, the easiest solution to have Tel Aviv University in your CV. <laughs> this is the easiest, you know, you just apply with, it's a various, and they're all four weeks, six weeks or eight weeks. There's also, we have a summer scholarship scheme. So we do try to, um, you know, help students out with the summer programs as well. Let me just add this here. And there's also a link to the Zoom event, which is happening tomorrow at one o'clock. Amazing. A lot of links. I like links. I hope people also like links. <laughs> uh, so amazing. We are out of time. I want to thank you, everyone. Uh, David, Lena, Dasha, Maya, everyone involved. Thanks uh, for the question that everyone in the audience is, uh, was asking. Uh, I believe uh, we learned a lot. And uh, even, most impo even more important, now you know the names of the people who you can ask questions and also you have all these amazing links so we can continue uh, like learning and finding the information that you need uh, so yeah